Well, what's going on guys? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. You guys ready for some hot tent camping? I know I am.
course, the biggest breeze has to be coming in head end. Where your face is exposed. And I feel like it's going to be a little chilly. But we have the rumple. It's very ergodynamic and packable, as you can see. <laughs> that was the <laughs> stupidest damn thing ever. Limited space. We decided to do a basics only trip. And this is what I brought. <laughs> this is what you get for making fun of the books I brought that one time. The books are smaller than this blanket. All right, oh, yeah. let's let's unpack it. Okay, Rumple, your smaller one it had a handle right here, so you could pull it out. Get it together. Why does it's a big one? Ooh. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Look. And how beautiful it is. Good down to 70 degrees. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> 70 degrees? Oh, you're going to be wishing you had one. I'm pretty sure I'm good with my neck 30 bag. Uh, you won't be with that. Woo! Breeze is blowing in that door. Oh, boy. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But that snow hitting the tent just started. We had some snow. We just knocked a bunch of it off. A little bit still left. We had to wake up about three o'clock. Sarah knocked a bunch of the snow off. In the middle of the night too. I wonder how much snow is outside. This vast open space. Just such a great view to wake up to. Well, it's pretty nice out here this morning. It's sitting about 27 degrees, not very cold at all, and the snow stopped. We probably got a couple inches overnight. You can see around the edge of the tent, we got a little bit of snow buildup. I packed a little bit down there last night before we went to sleep because the wind was just coming from that northeastern direction and it was pretty wicked blowing up underneath of the snow skirt so went over here and packed it la breakfast um, put the hot water tank on the back while the sausages are cooking and that's a nifty little thing i just packed it full of snow and it'll be about maybe 25 percent full of water by the time that snow melts Look at this. It is the world's cutest little salt and pepper shaker made by GSI Outdoors. Gets the job done nicely. Yum. How's your breakfast, babe? I feel like this is an actual human serving size. And when you're hot tenting, you should have at least three to four times this amount of food. Because the secret is we brought this stuff in with a four-wheeler, which we had to take back so that it didn't get stuck back here because we didn't know how much snow we'll get. So now I have to carry all this in with just this amount of food. And I don't know how far this is going to fuel me on the trail. It's protein. <sighs> no carbs. I mean, all that stuff, we like carted in on the four-wheeler. We couldn't have carted in like more food. <laughs> so this is what happens when you have a jumbo sized cup and the portion size has been cut. Actually that's the MSR mug mate and it doesn't fit on the rim of the Yeti mug. It's pretty good. There's no sweetener. No. Portion cutbacks again. Oh. Well, not too much creosote buildup up there. Just a one-nighter. Yeah, not too much at all. She was burning clean last night. You're retrieving the thermometer. 
You want to take a second and tell the viewers about that little device? Oh, this tells us how cold it is outside so we can feel better about ourselves when we know how warm it is inside. So we have both temperatures and we're laughing when it's 80 degrees and it's 20 outside. Oh yeah. Yeah, that snow is pretty deep. That hike out of here with all this stuff is going to be going to be challenging. No blind this morning. It seems very bright. Oh, you're gonna fall into the snow. I think so. Are you even on film? Oh, oh, but it'll be good go. footage if you fall. <laughs> so we thought we'd take a minute and just kind of touch base with you guys, let you guys know what was going on. Um, you might have noticed there was kind of a lapse in our uploads, and that's because we were moving to the north woods of Wisconsin. So we bought this beautiful property up here. We've got 40 acres in the north woods of Wisconsin and we're out here camping for the first time so Sarah drove the four-wheeler in here yesterday with all of our stuff we dropped everything off but we were expecting some snow and up here you're never sure um, what the weather is gonna be it's not very accurate so we weren't sure if we were gonna get a lot and get the four-wheeler actually stuck out here so we went ahead and drove it back to the house and judging by the amount of snowfall that came, I think that probably was a good decision. So we're going to be packing up and hiking all this stuff out of here back to the house. <sighs> she wouldn't let me bring the sled. Well, we don't have a sled. You know, a good saucer will get you a long way when yeah, you we... have like a tent this heavy and a stove. Yeah, we don't have a sled. We have to buy a little sled. I'm I've decided that I'm going to put ropes around her put stuff on her and kind of like dog team driver back to the house with the stuff that's what i'm planning oh God. yeah if we had some sled dogs that'd be <laughs> nice too but yeah we just got a couple like flying saucers like you know we use when the kids come up <laughs> i have my eye on one of those canadian sleds but i don't remember what's the brand oh i forget it's a canadian brand it's like the canadian brand like yeah. for sled yeah it was a really good one uh, but yeah i cannot you, think about it if you guys have suggestions for Poke sled. Are they poke sleds or poke sleds? Like poke. <laughs> poke. <laughs> poke. That's what I thought. So if you guys have a good suggestion for a poke sled, leave it in the comments below because we're looking to get one so that we have better access to our property so we can continue to bring you some awesome backcountry camping trips. All right. Well, I think that does it. We're signing off. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Ah!